Hi guys, so I wanted to do this video just to help some people out um, in regards to the Infinity Q50 and how to do any type of self-diagnostics or you know to check what the car status is in case there's something wrong or you're having some issues just to you know troubleshoot and make sure that you know everything's up to par or something's wrong you can take it to the shop or try to you know do it yourself and fix it so I've been having uh, an issue uh, you know last couple of weeks it took me a while to figure it out I am kind of handy I like to do things you know uh, fix electronics my dad was an electrician so you know I'm pretty handy I usually fix things and you know change LEDs in my car install different you know aftermarket parts but anyway so I had this issue where the audio went out regardless of which input I switched to Bluetooth CD player FM AM XM um, you know the audio wouldn't play I couldn't even do volume up and down so basically I could switch inputs switch uh, channels but no audio would come from any speakers no you know background noise or, or anything so so it took me some time to uh, you know research it and try to figure out what's going on and the only thing online was well you live in New York City maybe the rats chewed the cables you know connecting some of the speaker components and I was like yeah maybe but that probably is not I mean you probably would hear some kind of distortions here or there but I, I heard nothing no feedback or anything I, I checked the manual there was nothing there so everything pointed to me taking to the shop I'm just too busy with my life to you know do that so Anyway, I knew that there, there had to be a, you know, a way to at least diagnose to figure out what the issue is. And then if it really is something that I can't fix myself, I'll take it to the shop, you know, last resort. Anyway, so there is a self-diagnostics mode. It works for all Infinity Q50 models, um, that regardless of which year it is. So um, this is how it works. Um, so as you can see, the audio is on right now on FM. So what you need to do is you need to turn off the audio so that it says, you know, audio off up there. Um, then you click on the settings uh, from the home screen. It takes you to settings. Then what you do is you hit the seek right, you know, track uh, button three times. One, two, three, you know, within two seconds. And then press and hold right below the right trigger of the settings. And it takes you to the system diagnostics menu. So what you do is you run the self diagnostics. And it, you know, it shows you green. Uh, circles next to each component and green arrows meaning it's connected correctly um, and there's you know second page if you scroll down so my issue was the Bose amp was red so it wasn't connected and uh, it, it was fairly simple after that I was able to look at the fuse box on the left side of the underneath steering wheel and uh, you know change out the the fuse for the the amplifier there's actually two of them but only one of them I guess was bad because I tried you know tried each one until I got the one that works and everything worked correctly so um, you know you could, if you want you could go into any of these components it gives you a little more uh, you know information connection is normal etc so if something's an issue and you go into something it would tell you what the issue is and you could take it to a shop then just to get out of it you hit back you hit back again and the entire system resets and when it was back up all the audio uh, you know was working after I changed the fuse and I went back in here and it was all green and I was like awesome I figured it out on my own didn't need to take it anywhere so hope this video helps because I couldn't find anything else online and if anybody else is having these issues hopefully this would uh, help them alright 